Hey YouTube, it's Jade. Um, welcome back to another video. So, <clears throat> sorry about that. So today I'm going to be doing, I guess you could say like a review or like a um, com compare and contrast. I have two pairs of sunglasses. So these are my first Key Australia sunglasses. Yeah, that's how you pronounce it. Key, not Quay. I thought it was Quay at first, but it's Key. Key Australia. And this is what they come in, a little pouch. Um, and this part right here, you just open and it snaps shut so your glasses don't fall out um, into your purse. So that's very, um, that's very bright of them to think of something like that. So I first, I purchased the the high key um, from Desi Perkins in the black and silver, but they were just too big for my small little head. And they were like covering like literally half of my face. These, um, they're not so bad, so I decided to keep them because they were the classic size. I didn't know that there's different sizes that you could choose from to where it fits your face shape, so that's always good too. So I think these are the high, the Key Australia macaws. So this is what they look like on. I mean, not bad, right? Like they're not, they're big, but they're not like too overpowering. I mean, for me, like if they are big, I don't care. Like I really don't care what everyone says. So, but to me, like they're perfect. And like the nose part, it doesn't hurt at all. Um, they feel pretty good. They don't touch my cheeks. So I guess that's that's the only good, that's the good part. Um, for us makeup wearers, um, they don't touch our cheeks, but they do touch the nose, obviously. But, um, so yeah, these are the uh, macaws. These were uh, run around for 60 bucks, so I mean, they're up there, but not really like up there. So I've there's been some sunglasses that there's like like a hundred bucks, am I right? But these were sixty bucks, so like not too bad. So I mean, I'm trying not to blind you guys, but I just thought I would get like a classic um, pair. I mean, not too over like powering, and they just kind of blend in. So yeah. For 60 bucks, I mean, not bad. I wanted some really like high quality uh, sunglasses. All right. If you are <clears throat> on a budget, excuse me. If you are on a budget and you can't afford the $60, what I did do was just do a little bit of research and I went on Amazon. I am like a Amazon Horror. like I shop on Amazon like like who doesn't shop on Amazon it's Amazon Prime too oh my gosh it's dangerous guys and girls it's dangerous so these are the I want to say Sojo's Soho's I don't know but this is the brand that I got off of Amazon the Sojo's um it says they're made in China I am not sponsored at all just to let you guys know but this pair that I'm mentioning, I might either give away or just keep them, but I have not worn them. I just thought these were comparable to the uh, Key Australia macaws. So they just come in a little package like this to store your sunglasses. And inside, this is what they look like. It does, however, come with one of these to clean your sunglasses, so that's um, that's good too. And then also, let's see, it just says secret in your eyes, Sojo, Sojo Vision. So yeah, um, and there's this little paper right here. Let's see. It probably just says just to, how to clean them. I'm not too sure. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Doesn't it doesn't 
This paper doesn't really say anything. It's just kind of, I don't know, a little waste of space. I have no idea. But anyways, let's get into the uh, comparable product. Ugh. Sorry, this is taking longer than I thought. Okay, so it comes with one of these to clean your sunglasses off when they do get dirty. And then this is what they look like. And it says uh, 30 days guaranteed if like you don't like them, however. And they do package them pretty well, just like the Key Australia's. They came in this type where it was covering the sunglasses, so not too bad. And I think for the price, I think they're around 19, 20 bucks. I mean, they're not that bad. So I'm not gonna try and blind you guys, but this is what they look like. These are pretty similar to the Macaws. Only part is this part is uh, silver and it's not black. So I'm gonna try these on for you guys. So these are just like about the same, just only the outer part is uh, silver. But I mean like, they pr they're pretty they're pretty comparable and like the same quality like they're they're cheap sunglasses but they feel and look pretty high end they look the same as the macaws um but somehow uh different in a way so yeah this is what they look like but i don't know i'll either keep these or uh give these away and i did get another pair which i'll show you right now um, so yes, I have been wearing the macaws, um, for a little bit, but those are my first pair of Key Australia sunglasses, and I just love them, but they are a little pricey, but if you don't mind splurging on good quality sunglasses, then by all means, have at it. Okay, I'm trying to package all this up really quickly. And these next ones, um, I did see ones similar on the Key Australia, the Vivian, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, I don't have them. I wanted them, but they're like super big for my tiny face. So I figure if I can't have big sunglasses, then I can at least have comparable ones. All right. Now that they're all packaged up in the box that they came in, these are the other ones that I have. So these are just kind of like the other ones, but they're these are just all black. I like them. They're different. They make me feel like, I don't know, freaking badass and like G.I. Joe status, right? I don't know they're pretty comparable to the key Australia's I mean like for the price you can't go wrong I don't know I think these are a little more lightweight than the key Australia but they feel fine they look fine they look high-end but yeah so that's pretty much all I have to say if you can't afford like $60 sunglasses then by all means shop on shop on amazon like you're gonna find a lot of stuff on amazon let me tell you so um thanks for watching this video i hope you like it give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next video bye